Beats, beats by Trill, straight Killerville, dog, 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 dog. <laughs> What's good? What's good? We are back live from Vietnam. Homer J. Cole, Homer Dennis Smith Jr., Homer Affian Crockett, Homer Dennis L.A. White, Homer Murray, Homer two-time Super Bowl champ Joshua Williams, and Homer, the one and only Paul Masson of Trill Noise Tracks. What up, Trill? What's up, man? Still feel like shit, but we still gonna do this. I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna let these artists down, especially we got Rex. We got Rex coming on. We, you know, this week, just coming up, uh, March. And we reviewing his music today, so I ain't wanna let Rex down. We got Cami got bars. Uh, we got Passport School, Bill Hood the Mayor. We got BTS. We got a lot of favorite stuff today. Um, and we got like one of my clients, non hip hop, and we're gonna get in that in the first. Anything you wanna uh, get into first? Um, uh, first I wanna say uh rest in peace to my man um Steve Foster. He just died this week. You know what I mean? Good fella. Good dude, you know what I'm saying, man. Rest in peace to him. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dirty Bow. Shout out to my Shout out to Debo. Shout out to Rise. You know what I mean? Other than that, that's about it. All right, let's get into this first one. This is, um, the artist's name is Eyes, and the song is Sugar. <laughs> too so what are you giving it a yay nay or okay that that's a yay plus i like that i like that for real i like that too i'll give it a yay and it was I, I, i'm surprised it was that short maybe they just snippeted it exactly you, you know look you know what I mean? when you told me how many songs we was doing i was about to be like yo man you ain't gotta play the whole shit <laughs> but yeah <laughs> yeah 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 i mean I saying that i mean we that was just... at, that was actually too short too short right yeah I'm, i mean I'm, I'm thinking they might have just sent us a snippet what do you think yeah it could have been a stupid, but that was too short. And she sounds sexy. I don't know if she ugly or yeah, not. But yeah, yeah, That was that was real sexy. But yeah, that was way too short. So if it was a snippet, I mean, I want the whole song. So if you can get the whole song from whoever that is and send it That's to me, I mean, eyes. That's I really, eyes and the song I, is I like sugar. That. I like that and shit. E y e apostrophe z. Look them up on social media. All right, let's get into this next one. Vietnam. We got Cami. Got bars. I the best advice I done got from somebody when my partner told me, man, it's three kind of people in the world. You know, like it's, it's people that sit back and watch everybody else do everything, ball out, have fun, not have fun and all of that, or just they just sit back and just watch. You know what I mean? And talk about what everybody else is doing or how he balls or this and that. Then you got the people that that wanna do it, they just don't do it. You know what I mean? Then you got the people. I, mean, it's, it's I just be talking that shit just because, yeah. I do this shit just for fun. Uh, they know I don't give a fuck. Really, I'm one of them ones. Said I just be talking that shit just because, yeah. I 
I do this shit just for fun. Uh, they it's know I hard. don't give a fuck. Huh? Really, I'm one of them ones. Talk how I talk, cause I know I'm the shit. Whole talking crazy, I ain't worried about shit. Walk how I walk, cause my pussy got grip. Pussy so good, got the keys to the crib. Hoes on hoes, I been feeling like a pimp. Step on these hoes, like I'm walking on stilts. Calling my phone, nigga, act like a bug. It is what it is, and it was what it was. Bitch trying to speak on my name, that's a dub. Bitch trying to speak on my name for a buzz. Bitch, I got drip like I'm fresh out the tub. Bitch want to smoke, put that shit in her lungs. How we gon' beef if you ain't having fun, yuns? Little bitty bitch need to get you some money, on. You know I'm P, I ain't going for none of it. You know I'm P, I ain't going for nada. Akuna Matata, I'm smoking on Zasha. He ain't gon' much, man, that nigga gon' gobble. He give me back, not no Louis or Prada. Finesse and these niggas get this from my mama. I need my bread and my cheese like a whopper. Playing you lacing your ass to the dollar. These bitches tallers, I burp them and rock em. Talk to me proper, I talk in dollars. Never, ever, ever met a bitch like this. Pretty as the fuck, but he know I ain't shit. I get some bread and some head, then I dip. Bitch, I'm too player, I'm pee like a pimp. Never, ever, ever met a bitch like this. Pretty as the fuck, but he know I ain't shit. I get some bread and some head, then I dip. Bitch, I'm too player, I'm pee like a pimp. I just be talking that shit just because, yeah. I do this shit just for fun, uh. They know I don't give a fuck. Really, I'm yeah, one of them ones. That I just be talking that shit just because, yeah. I do this shit just for fun, uh. That shit they know hard, I don't cause. give a fuck, huh? He, he want no rider, I sit on his face Whenever he hungry, put it on his plate She mad by the nigga from back in the day These bitches tender and I can't relate I'm slicker than Rick and my pussy amazing Black as the fuck when I'm high, I look Asian He wanna trap me, I can't have his baby Hit from the back cause he like how I take it Talk how I talk cause these bitches don't phase me Walk how I walk cause this drip got me wavy Bitch, I'm so street, got that shit out the pavement I'm from Augusta, I ain't gotta say it Might fuck a nigga if I know she hate it. You know I'm bad, ain't no need for debating Lil' bitch, I'm raw like a motherfucking steak I'm having motion in and out of state I'm from up the way, straight out Spanish trace These bitches broke, live on section 8 They think I'm from Texas, I'm screwing they face Like I'm a stylist, I'm snatching your lace Triple cross her, get a hoe out the way Just like a boss, put a hoe in her place Money and guns, all up in the safe For a rainy day or for catching the case I, I, I just be talking that shit just because, yeah I do this shit just for fun, uh. They know I don't give a Wow That shit hard you know, uh, I gotta give it a yay I gotta um, give it a yay And I, I wanna mean, stay on this one for a minute no, it's a yay. You know what I mean? It came across my timeline like two days ago. And it's funny that, you know what I'm saying, you got it and we reviewing that shit. But yeah, I mean, that shit right, that shit right there hard. Have I mean, you heard of female and fans that hard? Um, I mean. I don't know if I have. I don't think I have either. And that, that's no. I, heard out of I mean, that that's no disrespect, but that shit right there was hard though. I mean, it came across my timeline the other day, and I, I just had like a little snippet. It's a video to it too. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, it's, I, it's, I, it's, I it's a video. Like but that shit, thing, like, that shit is hard. The like. 90s, I love those kind of beats. You know what I'm saying? Still, those, those kind of. I mean, hard like, beats. like to me, like you know, what I'm saying like um the advantage that uh the female rappers have is. They can play around with beats, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas have to pick and choose their beats to a certain type of like feel or whatever. But the females can have some old happy ass beat and talk that hard ass shit. I mean, I don't know if she re- I don't know if she spit that shit like all the way through. I mean, it could be in chopped up like you know, line by line, either way it go. The flow, the flow is hard. You know what I mean? Like, and like I told you, like most of the time I just listen to the beat first, but you know, what I mean, I was tapped into the lyrics before the beat because you know what I'm saying. I mean, not just I mean, not to sound like talking shit, but you know what I'm saying the beat was typical. But you know what I'm saying? Like, so I automatically tapped into the lyrics before I tapped into the beat. So but it be it's hard. I heard it the other day. So I mean I liked it then and I like it now. That shit hard. Damn she dog said, over here whining why I'm in the middle of this damn podcast. Hey look she said that nigga ain't gonna munch he gonna gobble. I know right <laughs> yo, yo. what did you say I, I get me some head and get me some head <laughs> she said, you know, he, he ain't gonna munch he gonna gobble I see yep <laughs> All right, yeah, let's I get mean, into this next one. We got Passport Scoop and Hood the Mayor featuring Tech from Smith and Wesson. Tell the bitch you talking Tech. to the Tims and the hoodie creeper. I don't want your bitch, man. You can keep her. Woo! You talking to the golden diamond Rolex wearer. For the right price, I can make your shit better. Big body whipper, paintball spitter. Respectfully, I am that nigga. Top tier. Ice light like a chandelier. The dawn's here. That's Nature cool. boy hey, Rick Flair. Shut the fuck up. You fuck niggas talking that Fugazi shit. I spray fix you old niggas get 86. You undercars talking shit to the main event. The PPP loans must have came and went. My dog from up the block asked me for dope. He must have smelled them. Had them trays dancing in the field like Odell Beckham. My little homie give you the eye before we check him. It's a grand missing. You can wear this pistol 
as a necklace. That's a fact. You know I'm still dragging my knuckles through the jungle. I'm still dropping game. I'm your uncle, nigga. I caught a huddle. No back and forth. Ain't no Nicky Shuffle. We ten toes down. Barney Rubble. Two X hoodie. Unlaced Tams like Sean Price. Baggy jeans. We fill cigars and three dice. Open like 7 Eleven. The congregation meeting at the stairway to heaven. Fiends call him the Talking Reverend. to the Tims and the hoodie creeper. I don't want your bitch, man. You can keep her. Woo! You talking to the golden diamond Rolex wearer. For the right price, I can make your shit better. Big body whipper, paint ball spitter. Respectfully, I am that nigga. Top tier, ice light like a chandelier. The dawn's here, nature boy Rick Flair. I'm on the way to BK from NC. Just live through Charlotte, and I got that belt with me. I'm politicking with the jet flying, gas smoking, gun token. With them yachts in the ocean, that's what we call motion. That boy's loking, but they tripping off the shrooms in front. Acting invisible, like you God or something. And if you God, I gotta pin your ass to the cross. If it's a loss, I'm tossing everything you love. Body sold up in the lake with them ducks. It get real quiet, real gates of moving silence. They don't give a fuck, they live for violence. When it say it's on sight, believe that, it's up. Got caught lacking, ended up getting stuck. Better get low, like bleak. I'm talking obsolete. Cause if I see you in the street, boy, you're talking dead. Talking to me. the Timbs and the hoodie creeper. I don't want your bitch, man, you can keep her. Woo! You talking to the gold. All right, what you think about that one? Man, that, that beat hard. I like that sample. Yeah. Yeah, that beat, that beat is tough. And, I'm, yo, that, I, I got to say, man, Passport School, man, goes super hard, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't he was know. The second guy, he was the second guy rapping. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. And they both go hard. They both go super hard. But, like, like back in the days, I don't remember Passport School being that hard. And he's, like, super hard with it now. It's like everything I'm hearing from him, I'm like, I'm really loving, man. I'm really loving. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to get that one okay. Oh, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, okay. Uh, we got yeah. two records we coming up with. Um, You know, BTS, they just, you know, relaunched. Together as a crew, um, they dropped a new album just recently, and um, Kenny Max sent me over two tracks, Mind Your Business and Standing On Business. So we're going to get into the first one, Mind Your Business. All right. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Spizzy. <laughs> Baby. Let's get into it, man. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to mind your business. Ah. I'm with the roots, just trying to get it until ah. I got it. This Lord is my witness. Look, Look here, mind your business. Ah. Cause I don't pay attention to the rumor. No, man. I do me. Fuck how they feel. You should mind your business. <laughs> Cause haters gon' hate. That's what they supposed to yeah. do. Don't worry about them. Yeah. Just do you. Yeah. Hey, yo, mind your business. Ah. I'm just being honest. Don't get offended. Ah. Best believe it. If I said it, ah. then I'm Intimidated. That's why they hate you. I'm eating. Like a pop, like a pimple, and I won't compress. Heard the niggas, they said was doing it, and I'm not impressed. And I wouldn't be if I couldn't do better. Too busy doing me to be concerned about who's better. Yeah, I'm smoking the whip. It still smells like new leather. Chose my current chick off for the fact that a nude's better. So I'ma do a check like you the swore I must have won the lottery. For my surf sip, I used to serve it out of baby bottle. Props that I be writing when I write like a best-selling novel. My man's mass, and I can have your gal horizontal. Worse than you can tell somebody like me is Will C. Got it out the mud. Fingernails filthy. I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Yeah, you might do it, but you can't do it like me. Mind your business. I'm yeah. with the roots and just trying to get it until I got it. This Lord is my witness. Look here, mind your business. Cause I don't pay attention to the rumor mill. I do me. Fuck how they feel. You should mind your business. Cause haters gon' hate. That's what they supposed to do. Yeah. Don't worry about them, just do you. Hey, yo, mind your business. I'm just being honest, don't get offended. Best believe it if I said it, then I'm 
The whole truth yeah. and nothing but the truth. Since the youth on my mind, mind. been nothing but the loot. Yeah. You can ask Mom Dukes. Right. She'll tell you too that boy obsessed with money like the sweet smell of fruit. Hit the streets after school. Yeah. But I stayed in the book so might not have hit the bitch. But I played in the push though. Y'all keep playing. Huh? I'ma lay in your bush yeah. hole. Hop out with heat spraying. For laying in cook mode. Y'all need to mind your business. Why worry about me? I'ma me. get mine regardless. Why would you doubt me? me. Nigga said, Neezy fell off. Now tell me how that happened. What? Not the way that Cadillac, Cadillac, and he moves it, jewels it, new designer fashion. You snooze, you lose, you fools, you find a passion and get yourself together and start yourself a business man. And hating hey, no on easy can't be your business plan. Damn, you walk around like this shit don't stink. Whatever, folks, your boat just hope this shit don't stink. I know you heard about me and what they say about me may be true, but then again, it just may be as fake as you. People miss. Nothing going on, keep the most to say they Write a hundred comments on a hundred posts a day Tell them mind they business, don't tell them again And if they ask you how I'm doing, tell them better you than them You need to mind don't. your business I'm a with the roots, so just trying to get it Until I got it, this Lord is my witness You don't care, mind your business Cause I don't pay attention to the rumor mill I do me, fuck how they feel You should mind your business What you think about that one, man? That's a yay. Especially the last the last dude that was rapping. Yeah, I'm feeling that right there. Who do you sound like to you? You know, hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. I mean, I hate to sound local, but I thought it was a black watch at first, but you know, see, he got that voice. I thought he sounded like Rick Ross. <laughs> I mean, yep, yep, that too, but I thought he sounded like Rick Ross. What he, he said, the way that Cadillac and the way that Cadillac yeah, is Cadillac and <laughs> And the yeah. hook, man, I was like zoning out to the hook because what they talking about. I feel like I could totally relate to that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that's a yay for me right there. Uh, right, yeah, let's get uh, yeah. to the, the next one in standing on business. By who? Standing on business. Same thing. Finish, BTS. Nigga. BTS the movement. No, no, this one in line like I'm Dennis the Menace, nigga. Fuck you. We standing on business, and we don't pretend. Now we fucking these bitches, and we ain't they friends. Look, it's too many women, and we don't pretend. We standing on business, and we don't pretend. We standing on business, and we don't pretend. Now we fucking these bitches, and we ain't they friends. Look, look, it's too many women, 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 and we don't pretend. We standing on business, and we don't pretend. No, we don't pretend. pretend. Tell the hoes that we ain't they friend. They friend. You don't fuck, get lost. get lost. I don't give no fucks at all. At all. She asked for the money, I hung up the call. Then she texted me later and told me I'm wrong. All right, all right. I'ma live with it, fuck. I see all the bitches that want that want. But I'm standing on business, I don't want relations. No. These niggas want hope, but they still in the basement. They be wearing designer, but back account empty. Trying to get in my mind, standing racing. What? Only 20, but I'm kind of impatient. Oh, yes. For that sad running back, I'ma take it. Back. Thirteens and sweat on my body, you know I've been gone. I ain't that cheap with my silence. Money like cleansing, your nigga gon' pile it. Yes. I'm abusing the smoke, that's why niggas be hiding. Hi. I'm outside trying to switch up the climate. With these bars, cause I be spitting the hottest. Hi. Like a cashier, these niggas gon' copy. And they try, but they know that they not this. I am a monster like I'm from the lock. How can they stop? No one can top this. I be the first nigga in the lobby. Trades on my neck and then CVVS. If you got something to say, better say with your chest. You're not standing on business, I fuck with you less. You're not standing on business, that's something you regret. You're not standing on shit, but you niggas pretend. Bitch, I'm standing on shit that you won't understand. We standing on business, and we don't pretend. Now we fucking these bitches, and we ain't their friends. Look, it's too many women, and we don't pretend. We standing on I'm gonna go with uh okay. I'm going with okay and uh I mean you know I me mean? if if you send your music to be critiqued by somebody, you know what I mean you can't take no criticism as a uh as a diss or you know I mean as somebody don't like it, you know. I mean, this is we ain't on here to diss nobody's music. No, no, I ain't dissing nobody. You know what I mean? I mean, and at the same time, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not Dr. Dre or nobody, but you know, when it comes to certain stuff, like I mean, I understand what it was going with, but you know what I'm saying? This is BTS, you know what I'm saying? BTS is back from our heyday too. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what I'm saying? What I noticed was like you were spitting, but you know what I mean that that new that that drill type shit, you know what I'm saying? It's not your style, you know what I mean? Like stick to your shit, you know what I'm saying? What works works. 
You know I mean, don't don't try to appeal to whoever nowadays. Like, you know I mean, like with me, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, like with my beats or whatever. You know, what I mean? I'm gonna make the type of beats I make. I don't give a fuck if you don't like it or not. But you know, but I mean, it wasn't bad. But I mean, I'm gonna give it an okay just for the simple fact that to me it felt like a, a stretch or trying to appeal to. <coughs> I think that might be their newer artist, their younger artist. I mean, I don't know who that was. You know what I mean? I mean, I, a, they got a younger artist, so I think it might be the younger artist. You I know mean. What I'm saying? I mean, I, I know the crew BTS. You know what I mean? I don't know each. I don't know each one of them personally, or whatever. Or maybe I do. Maybe I met them. I don't know. But you know, but I know of BTS. And I mean, just just stick to the style. The one before that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it was a ten. That one was a a five to me because I mean, I, I can feel the stretch. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. and the dude that was rapping was can spit, but you know what I'm saying? I, that wasn't his style. You know what I mean? I, I could feel. I could feel you trying to make something. To you know, what I'm saying you know, what I'm saying like like to reach a certain, a certain crowd or, or crowd something of like demographics. that. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. I mean, the lyrics was dope. I mean, everything was. Dope. I mean, to me, it was just, it was just the stretch part of it. Like you know, so I mean, I'm gonna give it an okay. Well, we got two more left, and we got this this guy coming on um, March 22nd, and this is Rex, and we're gonna start with eat well, travel often. It's a long title. Pamela, she my mama, she a victim to piranhas, a childhood filled with drama. She ain't want to leave me and Nikki with Auntie Patricia, mm. but she was getting high, barely out of high school. Did we miss her three and a half years of getting beatings with the straps? It's a trap, it's a cycle. I'm just trying to paint a picture that to get you in my frame of mind. Barely nine, hand me down, clothing, cold weather, welfare line. I'm a descendant of that boat ride, the so-called freedom. I was forced to pledge allegiance to a man I ain't believing. If I borrowed a dollar, we'd be even Steven. If not Leave us in projects, we were some objects Bought so many souls, food and fools go Was 40 acres in the mule, so So many tried talking assimilation To a nation of crooks Juxtaposition of opposition For the jokes, for stick-ups On the ad, so many hiccups Stay out the tax, we pay the tolls max Penitentiaries doing 25 to them centuries The new slave code, since a couple days old Age-old adage, civilized, always savage The classisms of the upper classes Tell our staff that is what NASDAQ averages. Keep us in line to buy, sell, eat well, travel in space and time. Eat well, travel often. Nowadays, hard to get away. Meditation wave I've been lost in. Third eye gaze, see peripherals. Dancing with the vicious wolves. Bulls, bears, please use caution. Eat well, travel often. Nowadays, hard to get away. Meditation wave I've been lost in. Third eye gaze, see peripherals. Dancing with the vicious wolves. Bulls, bears, please use caution. Animals on the market, they be monsters. I know you grown now, but please be cautious. Cost be high when you sell low. My thoughts not to pry, but to help you so you don't settle. Get toe tails, fall into trap. Don't prevail, set sail. They leave you at open and bell. Oh well, that's like no cap. And I know that the roads close to home. In fact, by golden stack, that paper depreciate, appreciate. Real estate views in the pews, it alleviate. News of inflation and tax, wanna relax, but the gas price. Is so high, it burst through the sky. We out of eye if you are in the bottom and you rotten and forgotten. No solutions, but a whole gang of problems as the earth revolving. The odds in the pile stacked against you. Injury add in so why they gotta get us. Capitalist must, it's just propaganda at present. No give what Christmas fist up for the powers. Rain showers from the optics. They talk politics. I change topics because there's no love. It's all fascism. That system got its foot on our neck. Listen, I'm Piston, I know you are too. Even the odds do. We got a choice in this world. Do we really got a voice in this world? Eat well, travel often. Nowadays, hard to get away. Meditation. What you thinking over there, nigga? That shit dope, dog. Look, I mean, even from the production side, you know, what I'm saying like from the production side, that right there is the perfect blend of sampling. Like a boom bap, and with you know, what I'm saying like the new school, like with that that eight oh eight, and 
and the snare, and you know what I'm saying? Like, then with the sample, like, you know what I'm saying? He put the low pass filter on the sample. I mean, that right there is dope. And the dude, whoever, the, who'd you say it was? Rex. Rex, yeah. R E K S. Rex. And, and he spit, he got, he got that, that, the right voice. So, yeah, that right there. I mean, we need a new category. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, yay, nay, okay. We need, we need another one. <laughs> Are you putting him above yay? Yeah, yeah, above yay. Okay. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> I'm gonna go, 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 go with okay. I'm gonna go with okay. Oh, it's Paul, dope. It's, dope. it's dope. No, it's dope. He's dope. Paul, but this cat, this cat's got so many dope records. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm just saying. Well, send me that one. I'm just saying. Like, come on, right. you, you, you go with into, okay. Let's get to the last one. Let's get into his last one. <laughs> you get some sun, Paul. Go outside. <laughs> Samir, what up? It's boy Rex. You know I got you. First to me. <laughs> yeah, check. No interference, this the zone of clearance. More than just appearance, this the actual. Living, breathing, the factual. True, authentic, dependent, codependent. Music masterful. I can't sit back and just witness. Go in the action. Oh. Top tier, son of God, Allah Nazir. Y'all bearing witness to the sharp spear. Paul Pierce, legendary. True flare, no wreck. He's so sick. These flu bars. Bad boy, you Mars, the 06. D way, heat Samir, he made beat and Rex. He said, Young King, uh -huh. let's lace these streets. Uh -huh. They say the beast deceased, but uh, waking ferocious. Yes. Yes. My focus is approaching this project, minus the boastfulness. Uh -huh. But let's be honest, my pentatomic, talking iconic sonnets and stanzas. You know the cowboy, no Tony dances. Answers the pan African, pro panthers. Body Rex, chances slim as Milan model pants. Cut out the cancers, can't exist. I miss the toxic, drew a blank. And in black stepped up to aid the process When I spit, it's only logic I shift the cosmic concepts Keep it actual, factual, kill the nonsense No interference, this the zone of clearance More than just appearance, this the actual Living, breathing, the factual True, authentic, dependent, codependent Music masterful I can't sit back and just witness Go where the action go No interference, this the zone of clearance More than just appearance, this the actual Living, breathing, the factual True, authentic, dependent, codependent Music Music masterful. I can't sit back and just witness go in and act. Barre scomode spessore, il solo che si espone Il vostro far di promo in estensione, sprono all'escrezione Muovo teste, scuoto feste se suono in queste zone Ora dice underground come piante d'outdoor al suolo messe al sole Sono io sole che cuoce a bronza E secca lo stronzo attorno a cui sto stormo di mosche ronza Fumano e fanno gang con la voce grossa per fare brutto Ma poi la tosse gliela mossa e li strozza e abbandonano il gruppo Un po' come fosse Whatsapp Non ci sono cazzi con sti flow gangbang di lesbiche Fatico a vedervi da vicino e lo schifo a rendermi presbite Con il freestyle lì di turpo la fissa è di mandarli in rimessa Tipo di sta fine turno Tengono il più bravo di lato nell'anonimato Ma con un brano di lato e gli faccio un buco di culo così l'hanno mimato Far l'arrogante un tassello di un piano mirato Ribatto con grande fratello a chi mi ha nominato No interference, this the zone of clearance More than just appearance, this the actual living, breathing the fact Okay, well, was that Portuguese? I don't know, man. He was spitting though, right? I mean, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Music is universal, so I mean, yeah. was, that Portu was that Portuguese though? It, it sounded like it was. Yeah, I think that was Portuguese. I mean, it's a... Um, mm. I've done a song with a German rapper before, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't know nothing he was saying on the song. I mean, you remember, uh, like I told you, I sent it, uh, I sold a beat to a Russian guy. And he sent it back, like, I mean, this was about 15 years ago, but I don't so know. So what, what you giving it? You giving it okay? It's not like okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm giving, I'm giving it okay. Yeah, I'm giving it okay too. I mean, it, it's the same guy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? His style and spit is, is is yay, but you know, to me, the last one, the beat, you know what I'm saying? The beat sold the last one. I mean, to me, the beat sells everything, so. Yeah, yeah. And you know Rex I mean, like, got so much, so many dope records, man. I mean, he got a record with Premiere that is so hard, man. I mean, I'm, I mean, who, he spit so. I mean, I'm gonna check yeah, out the yeah, rest of be, it. Yeah, like that's the thing. You never have to really say like uh, Rex didn't come with it. He ain't spitting, man. He's always gonna spit on everything, no matter what. No matter how you feel about the beat or whatever, Rex is always yeah. gonna come. I mean, he's like like both of those songs. I mean, he came on it on that. So I mean, if anything, you can't say the nigga can't spit. So so. <laughs> 
Dirty Bo said, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Trash. He should have left him off. Of course, Dirty Bo said he was going to get in tonight. Oh. Today, he was going to spread the hate. Hey, he was spread the hate. Dirt. Stop being dirt. <laughs> he said, yeah, he said he was going to spread the hate. He's like, hey. that's my garbage. That's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Debo. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, man, this guy. Look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into this um this topic. Benzino. Man. On, um, drink champs. Man. You want me to go first or you want to go first or what you thought when you saw it? It don't matter. You go first. It don't even matter. I was celebrating. I was celebrating. Celebrating what? Um him? Yeah, I guess. Oh, why would you celebrate him? <laughs> So awkward. It was so awkward. It was like one minute he's like, you know, fuck him and him, fuck whoever. And then a few moments later, he's like crying. And it's like he's trying to blame him nah. not, not accepting him, not respecting him. All right. On you, dissing him and him. But I think it goes way further than that. Like, yeah, I mean, you you skipping. Okay. If you watch the interview. Which you'll know say, like, remember, remember we uh, when we talked about that we was gonna do this topic. I was like, okay, I only watched uh, like some of it, so I finished watching it yesterday. You'll know say, like, I, I hadn't even got to the crying part. You'll know say, like, when we talked about it, I haven't even yeah. got to the crying part. But you know, what I'm saying, like, come on, dog. First of all, okay, first of all, I want to I want to uh, tell everybody that be talking shit about Nori. You know, what I'm saying, kill yourself. The show was called fucking Drink Champs. You going on the show, you already know what the fuck is going on. So, like, quit talking shit about Nori. Like, oh, oh, Nori is taking advantage. No, man. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to a show that's called Drink Champs, and I know they're going to be drinking, don't get mad at fucking Nori for this nigga getting drunk. It ain't like they forcing the liquor on him. I mean, th these are grown men that have, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got the choice to choose to drink or not. Okay. No, with that, right. Some people don't drink. Like, they don't drink a lot when they go there. I'm Barely. just saying, like fifty only drank like one shot one time. I mean, like I mean, I mean, it's it's been people that came on there and said, "No, I don't drink," and they drank shit. Yeah. So it's on you. Don't blame Nori and uh, EFN. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, the funny thing is, you know what I'm saying? Like if you go back and watch every episode of somebody that came on the Drink Champs and got fucked up drunk, have you noticed that Nori wasn't fucked up? Any other time, Nori be fucked up, slurring and goddamn yeah, doing yeah. all that crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? But any time that uh, what, what was that basketball player that, that used to date one of the Kardashians? What's, what's that nigga name? Chris Humphreys? Nah, there nah, nah, nah. There was a few. There was no, Lamar no, no. Odom. There was yeah, Lamar yeah, yeah, Odom. yeah. Yeah, Lamar Odom. You remember after that shit, they tried to get on Nori like you, you was exploiting a nigga that had an addiction. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. But he came to the show. Yeah. It's called fucking Drink Champs. And we know when you drink so much, you tell on yourself. Yeah, I mean, it's a genius show. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. The yeah. truth come out when you're drunk, but you know, say it's called fucking drink champs. Come on, nigga. It's called drink champs. So don't try to come at them. But then, like with Benzino, you know what I'm saying? What made this shit like so cringe, man? I mean, come on, dog. Like, man, when you watch the interview, like Nori, Nori asked him a whole question that didn't have to do with nobody. He was like, fuck him and them. Like he got Tourette's, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a nigga with Tourette's, like, fuck him and them. Fuck Joe Budden. Like, man, that shit was fucking ridiculous, dog. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, anybody, I mean, nobody never liked Benzino. Nobody, ain't, no, ever. ain't nobody, ain't nobody ever listened to nothing from RSO or all the other fucking all, bullshit. Almighty RSO. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. I mean, niggas ain't never liked you. I remember even, all like, that shit. there might have been a few Made Men tracks that were cool, but like, do you, nah, I don't remember, no, I don't man, remember man. Nigga, none of that shit, nigga. None of that shit hit my radar, man. You know what I'm saying? For, I mean, no, it came across my radar. Because I'm in the music and listening. Yeah, I listened to everything back in the day. So nigga, I gave it all a chance. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody like that shit. Nigga, nobody never liked you in the first fucking place. You know what I mean? Like, man, that nigga just went off the fucking rails, dog. I mean, that shit was... That was I mean... I don't have no sympathy for the nigga. He's done, right? I mean, he's totally done, right? I mean, he, he been done. What you mean? He been done, but this is like the nail in the coffin, right? When you just like... <laughs> Yeah, the way what you, you came up was really crying about. What do you think he was really crying about? He's crying. You'll say, um, I think he was crying about. I don't know. I think it's about his acceptance in hip hop. 
I mean, but at the same time, we, we nobody never accepted you. So it don't even matter. Like, I mean, who you know? Matter of fact, anybody in the chat, anybody that's watching, you know, say all five of our fans, anybody watching, comment, you know, say and say when was anybody checking for Benzino, nigga? When was anybody checking for Benzino? Period. You know what I'm saying? Like he only had one claim to fame. You know what I mean? Like nobody was checking for RSO and uh, that made men, whatever what, what you talk about. His claim to fame is the only time anybody was checking for him when he bought the source. The only time his name was ringing <laughs> bells was when he bought the source and and then he wanted to you know what I'm saying go at Eminem and stuff like that. Five mics or, or whatever. I mean, yeah. I mean, come on. Of of course, of course, the staff is going to give you five mics when you the boss. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Would you even do that though, personally, if you own the source? Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. we talked about no, you remember you just we talked run about ads, maybe, maybe use it to like yeah, the free exactly. ad in space and whatnot. But man, like, like like we said earlier, you know I saying? like in the album when it was like probably what one and a half, two. Man, if I owned the source when it was hot, I would have had an ad every every four pages. Yeah. Because back then, you know what I'm saying? Back then, I'm like trying, yeah, yeah. I mean, back then, you know, when you bought the source, like we looked at everything. You know what I'm saying? We found out about shoes, clothes, and everything. You know what I mean? And like, I mean, in the source. You know what I mean? We had music. You know, we had the cover. We knew what it was about. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was looking for the five mic and the unsigned hype. But then you had the ads. I mean, just, just imagine, like, especially us down in North Carolina, imagine how many clothes and shoes we would not have known about if it wasn't for the source magazine. We didn't have the internet back then. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you could have used it a whole different way instead of manipulating your staff to give you five mics just because you own it. You know what I mean? Like that right there is like a, a conflict of interest. Like you shouldn't even put yourself yeah, in yeah, a, a conflict of interest. Yeah. Yeah. That's a conflict of interest. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, come on. And and everybody knows you didn't deserve that five mics. What is Dirty you know Bo talking about? Fat Joe stole a beat from you. Oh yeah. That, that's a whole nother subject. Uh, shout out to my man, Rise. You know what I'm saying? So if we're going to talk about that one day, we need to get Rise on the show to talk about that you know, instead of just me. Like yeah, dirty yeah. trying to stir up shit in the comments. I mean, I mean, he did. Though. I mean, Fat Joe did still a beat from us, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'd rather have Rise on the show to talk about that. You know what I mean? Because he can get the more to the business details. But yeah, they did. Fat Joe did still a song from us. That's a fact. Damn. Yeah, that, that's a fact. So, that's you crazy. know what I mean? Shout out to Rise, yo, Rise. You know what I mean? Come on the show so we can talk about that one day. You know, let me see if I can screen share something. I want to see if I can screen share one something real quick and just get your reaction to this uh -oh. when you first saw this. All right, let me see if I can pull it up. Let me see if we can pull it up. Um, why is it not pulling up? Oh, it ain't pulling up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, my neighbor is ugly. <laughs> All right, so what was your, what was your reaction when you first saw this? Oh come on, Paul man! What are you saying? Why are you doing that? Who who was that? Is, is that Rick? Is that Ross? Somebody said my man sent me this today, and it's old, man, but like, man, come on, man! I mean, do you know how many pictures of of celebrities they got with that same pose? Man, I mean, that, that's easy to make up, man. That, that's not real. You come don't on, think that's Paul. real? You don't think that's real? <laughs> Paul, it's not real. Come on, Paul. Did he? Come on. I mean, uh, is this where we taking this podcast? Come on, dog. My man, man I, I, sent me to that, sent me that in the chat. I was like, let me man, I can show you a thousand pictures oh. of of Diddy and somebody, or like any rapper and somebody. Man, you know what I mean? Like, come on, dog. Dirty boy I mean, coming in Chicago. I don't know what he's talking about. Chicago. Yeah. What about Chicago? I don't know. What about Chicago, Dirty Bo? Yeah, but um. But nah. What would you think you know about I mean? the music that was on the podcast today? Who? All the music. What do you think about it? Me? I mean, I mean, it was better than uh, last week. Think it was better sure. last week? Yeah. Way better. Way better. You know what I mean? I mean, but but mix it up though. You know what I mean? Like we we ain't just rap niggas. Yeah. You know I mean I'm not just a rap producer. Like I mean, you can go to well, my SoundCloud. That's all I got this week. That like I didn't get a lot oh, yeah, of pop yeah, yeah. artists this week. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot yeah. of submissions like hip hop wise and local wise. But um, any artists, you know, if y'all want to um, have your music reviewed, send it to live from Vietnam at gmail.com. Any genres are accepted. Are we accepting yeah. heavy metal too? 
Every come on, Paul. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, my, I'm not a good heavy metal critique. My favorite group is my favorite group is Nirvana. My favorite like, group of my favorite group of all time is Nirvana. I, I got thought all they the were albums. alternative. I thought they were I mean, alternative. I mean, hey, hey, rock is just like hip hop. They always try to throw some label on it, like soft yeah. rock, punk rock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, alternative rock, rock. rock. You know what I mean? I mean, just like hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like boom bap, rap, hip hop, or southern rap, west coast. You know what I mean? Like, come on, I mean, I mean, a lot man, of stuff John Ray's now. Yeah, man, me, music is music, dog. I mean, music is music. You know what I mean? Like. Everything with a label is all designed to cause uh, separation between people. You know what I mean? Like, not to get political, but anything anything that has a, a label on it other than what it is, music mm-hmm. is music. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever you call music R&B or, 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 or like, how they doing now with the country shit with uh, Beyonce, t- like, calling it yeah, urban, urban, country, country, you know urban country. Urban yeah. country. You know what I'm saying? Urban is a politically correct way to say nigga. Nigga music. I mean, it is what the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Country is country. Then on top of that, I mean, I mean, black people created all forms of music. So, so what? What you know? What I'm saying like, so soon as soon as a black person steps into a music that they created, they want to throw urban on it, like urban this, urban that, urban that, urban. You know what I mean, come on, dog. I mean, everybody knows that urban. No, you're right. It it, it is a way to like separate. Like when you say trap, drill, all this stuff, it's a way to separate. I mean. It. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like you know, it's just like re- re- religions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like re- religions are Catholic, put a, uh, you know, Protestant, Baptist. Yeah. Like I mean, come on. I mean, how is fifteen motherfuckers reading the same Bible and saying fifteen different fucking things? Yeah. It's the same thing with rap. You know I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, the, the system is set up to divide us, man. I mean, it, it's just like the same conversations we have between niggas like us that are older. You know what I'm saying? And 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 niggas that's like, you know what I'm saying, the young boys nowadays. It's still hip hop. I mean, every everything transforms and changes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It, it's just the problem is, you know what I'm saying? Like they want to focus on one and then dis- disregard the first. And then that that that's what causes the conflict. You know what I mean? So when you got a nigga like me, my age, telling a nigga that's 19 or 18, you know what I'm saying? About, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that causes the conflict. You know what I mean? Instead of just keeping it all straight hip hop, it started out as just hip hop, and they tried to destroy it. And you know what I'm saying? In the beginning, so after hip hop, you'll say the first thing. What what was that first? What was that first sub genre they called it? After it was just uh hip hop. I don't fucking know uh, exactly. no, no. I'm talking about you know what I'm saying like because you you had tribe. You know what I'm saying like they, they tried to separate uh, separate nope, tribe. Nope, you know what I mean? I mean, Tribe Called Quest and like a uh, 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 I thought Tribe was considered like lo fi. No, 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 lo fi is a new type, shit. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nowadays they would be considered lo fi, but you know, lo fi is a you know, what I'm saying like that, that's a modern term, but yeah. like, like back then, you know, what I'm saying like, ma- matter of fact, they called it alternative rap, yeah, that's what that's it was, what they, alternative hip hop, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they called it alternative rap, you know, what, what does mean? that even mean? It went from you know, what I'm saying because because Tribe Called Quest. Uh, De La Soul and you know what I'm saying uh, Queen La Soul, people like that. They weren't talking, you know what I'm saying. They weren't talking the the. I mean, they still was conscious, but you know what I'm saying, like not fully conscious. But you know what I mean yeah. because they, I mean, they just had a more musical and melodic sound. So they they switched to the alternative rap. You know what I mean, like and then after that, it went to fucking just rap. Like you know what I mean, like it's like you know what I'm saying, like rap, I mean rap, you know what I'm saying, real, because um, you know what I'm saying, like it, 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 rap. Any anything that anything that is like the top shit, and every and everybody's on board with it. Cause just think about it, in the sixties, you know what I'm saying? Like just think in the sixties and the fifties, you know what I'm saying? Like with Chuck Berry and all them type of people, everybody was into it. But you know what I'm saying? They didn't want black people and white people get along. So you know what I mean? So they didn't call Chuck Berry and a uh, 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 Little Richard rock and roll, which they invented rock and roll. You know what I mean? After that, they they came up with R and B. You know what I mean? They called it R and B. You know what I'm saying? So that way it's separated from being just music. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. to a race. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they separated it to a culture and a race. So if you knew if, if it was R and B, it was automatically considered black people instead of being rock and roll. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it, it's it is, I mean, everything is a is a you know what I'm saying, like, man, everything is like a ploy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they they gonna find some way to divide us. 
you know what I'm saying? When music, you know what I'm saying? Music brings everybody together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, remember, you say they're trying a lot even harder in this day and age? I mean, I mean, they going, I mean, they, they going they're just going as hard like as super they, hard with it, right? This day and I, age. I mean, not, I mean, they just going, they going as hard as they always been. You, you remember that, uh, that Japanese, uh, dude I sent you the video of, uh, uh what about two weeks ago? Uh huh. What about him? Come on, dog. I mean, listen to it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we don't understand. I don't understand a fucking thing he's saying, dog, but this shit is hard and I can relate to it. Yeah. Music, music is universal. You know what I'm saying? Music brings everybody together. And 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 to me, that that's why they go so hard with trying to um put labels and categories on music to separate people. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 with the country music, urban country. Come on, dog. When, I mean, since when they had urban country? Until when? Just now. Yeah, I mean, if old boy would have kept going with it, um, I was talking to Mute God about this. If we would have kept going with it, I would have gave little Nas X some of this credit for it. Nah, 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 nah. I wouldn't know that. That's not urban. You know what I'm saying? That's really it's wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like no, no. I mean, I mean, no. He just had one country song. He wasn't. I know. Doing, that's why I said if he kept going with it. Yeah, know? yeah. I mean, he wasn't doing country, but you know what I'm saying? Now that there's a lot of black artists doing country music, now they want to call it urban country? Yeah. Come on. Come on, dog. Urban country. It's almost like they want to call it rap country. You know what I'm saying? So so if, if I start, if I if I do a classical album, you know what I mean? I, I get a bunch of violinists, some cellos, urban, you know what I'm saying? Urban classical. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I, do, I get a whole orchestra and I sit up there and do all this. Oh, it's urban classical now because I'm a black man? Like, come on, dog. Like, it's all divide and conquer dog you know what i'm saying like for i mean i mean i hate to get all serious and political with it but it's all divide and conquer man i mean from from everything from everything in life is divide and conquer like everything i mean just, just think about it everything you consume everything you see on tv any story you i mean it's all about divide and conquer you know I mean so like all these subcategories trap rap all that shit I mean, I understand it. You know what I'm saying? So, so if I make a drug reference, I'm I'm doing trap rap. If if I have nothing but 808s, I got you know what I'm saying. I got trap rap. So if I use break beats and old school, you know what I'm saying, like boom bat drums, I'm hip hop. So you know what I'm saying, like if if I if I use some type of melody type of stick, you know what I'm saying, like I mean, um, I'm alternative hip hop. You know what I'm saying, like stuff like that. Just like just like neo soul and all that type of shit. Like I mean, man, they do it. You know what I'm saying? They do it with all genres, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and it started in the 80s. You know what I mean? It didn't start to the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Before 1980, it was it was soul music. It was disco music. And it was rock and roll music. You know what I'm saying? But the thing that happened in the 80s, like, you know, I mean, that's like, I mean, I was a child then. You know what I'm saying? I should listen to, I should listen to everything. You know what I mean? I didn't categorize nothing. You know what I mean? I used to listen to Kiss. You know what I'm saying? Hall of Notes, uh, you know what I'm saying, Michael Jackson, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, it wasn't nothing. Like, I mean, even in the beginning of hip hop, you know what I mean, you didn't categorize nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? The early 90s, I mean, you had Kid and Play, Kwame, NWA, Cool G Rap, Big Daddy Kane, you know what I'm saying? Bismarcky, like, and everybody was existing in the same lane. You know what I'm saying? You had a choice. You know what I mean? But right after that, that's when they started putting categories on every type of music. I mean, look it up. You know what I'm saying? There was no such thing as punk rock. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, rock. it was no such thing as uh, uh, hip hop. It wasn't, no, I mean, and then like with the R&B, like they, they changed it to R&B. Like, I mean, they wanted to make sure that they, they could, um, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you knew that what you were listening to was supposed to be black music or white music or this type of person music, hippie music. You know what I mean? And shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, cause they, they used to call disco like gay music. I mean, I mean, right now, if you play a disco song, the first thing gonna come out of anybody's mouth is, man, you gay if you play some damn disco music. You know what I mean? Like that divine and cocker, man. I mean, it goes way deeper than the surface. That's you know what like what Hancock ate what he at the beginning of the movie with the Asians, he's like three guys playing disco in the car. Exactly. I mean, I'm what you gonna, I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge. Well, look, we're but, gonna wrap it up, man. I'm losing my voice, and we're almost hitting this hour mark. Anything you want to shout out before we go? Uh, like I said, once again, uh, shout out to my man, uh, Steve Foster, man. Rest in peace, homie. Uh, you know, what I mean, shout out Dirty Bo. Uh, hey, Rise, you saw what Dirty Bo said, so you got to come on the show now so we can talk about that. 
But um, other than that, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my granddaughter, Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Life is good. Some death lately, a lot of death lately, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, life is good, though. You know what I mean? I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. You know what I mean? I just, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all niggas need to get off that bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? For real. Well, don't forget. Yeah, so, um, get, 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 get off that bitch got, shit. We got PF <laughs> Cut coming yeah. on from Blase Blase. So definitely tune in for that. Word. I say shouts out to Dizzle. Shouts out to everybody involved with Live of Vietnam. <sighs> And I'm losing my voice, so we about to be out. Yeah, hey, hey, Paul, do me a favor. Hold up. That's um, the piece, Stephen. Nah, Foster. nah, do, do me a favor, though, Paul. What? Go outside tomorrow. And get you know some green tea. I know. No, 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 no. Get some what? sun. You know what I'm saying? You oh, know, I, you know, I went out today. I went out today. Nah, nah, look, look. You know that bright orange thing that's up there in the sky that, that's shining on your face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, for real. You know what I mean? Come on. You, you need some sun, Paul. You my nigga. I'll be out every day, dude. I, I'm outside no, every day. No, no matter of fact, nope. You're not my nigga. Remember when we talked about that. You know what I'm saying? You my, you my dude, man. Go out there and get some sun, man. Vitamin D. All right. We out. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Peace. Next, next show. Peace. Beats, beats by Trill, straight killer, Ville, dog, dog, dog. <laughs>